Hi, in this video we're going to look at ActionScript 3 and using text boxes. So we're going to look at three different types of text boxes and what we can do with ActionScript 3 with them. So to start with, let's open up a new flash file, ActionScript 3.0. And I'm very quickly going to set up my stage. I'm just going to give it a light grey background and I'm going to insert my first text box. So I'm going to the text tool or I can press T on my keyboard and when I select that so in the top right hand corner we have static, dynamic and input text. To start with I'm going to use static text. Now static text is simply text that we're going to type on our stage and it's really just going to be there for viewing purposes. It's not going to actually do anything. So I'm going to type in please insert your name into my static text box. Now with all the text tools of course our properties we can change the color and the size but I'm pretty happy with the way it looks. Once I have my static text, I'm now going to grab my text tool again, and this time I'm going to select the input text option. I'm going to click and drag, and over in my properties, I want to make sure show border around text is highlighted, so it's selected. Now the input text box here will allow me, when I run my animation, to actually type into it. So it's an input field. I can input data into that text box. I'm also going to give it an instance name. So that way I can talk to it with ActionScript. So I'm going to select it. And in the instance name section in my properties, I'm going to call it name underscore txt. So my code hinting will know that it's actually a text field. I'm now quickly just going to create a button next to that, a submit button. So I've just quickly created that and I'm going to convert it to a symbol by going modify convert to symbol or pressing F8 and in, for this video we're going to do buttons. So I'm going to call this submit and hit OK. I'm going to continue with my text boxes now. I'm going to go back to my static text and just type in hello and because I changed the color of my font earlier I'm going to change it back to black and I'm then going to insert one more text box this one's going to be dynamic now dynamic text are text fields that will allow us with action script to give it instructions to come up with whatever it is that we're looking for so in this case what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in a name into that box I'm going to hit the submit button and it's then going to, with ActionScript, submit that name into this dynamic text box for me. So it's going to appear, whatever it is I type, into this text box. So that means I also need to give this box an instance name as well. I'm going to call it name underscore, sorry, not underscore, name appear underscore txt. You'll notice that I separate the two words not with a space but with a capital and once again underscore txt so my code hinting in flash will know it's text so once you set up your stage to look like this create a new layer call that layer actions click on the first frame and press F9 or go to window actions now what we're going to do is the coding that will allow us once again to type a name into this box hit the submit button and then have that appear in the hello text field. Now before we do that, I've actually missed a step. I haven't given an instance name to my button. So let's call that submit underscore btn. And go back to action script. Select frame one. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a variable. So remember a variable is a container. It's going to store data and I'm going to give my variable a name. I'm going to call it your name. I'm going to do colon and it's data type which is going to be a string. I'm then going to put a semicolon to end the statement. So what I'm doing with this first line of code is setting up a container that's going to store a name. In other words, it's going to store your name because you're typing in your name. And the data type for that is a string. So it's going to be text. What I want to do next is I want to get my submit button ready. So I want to add an event listener, which is going to hear when I click on that button. So I'm going to type 
submit underscore btn which is the instance name of my button dot add event listener now what we're listening for is a mouse event we're listening for the mouse to be clicked on that button so mouse event dot click now I'm going to give this a name a name that I can talk to with my function I'm going to call it on click I'm going to close my brackets I'm going to end the statement so now I'm going to set up my function function what's the name I've chosen I've chosen on click so when I hear the mouse click the submit button it's going to run this code so on click event mouse event close my brackets another colon and there's no data return type so we type in void I'm going to open my curly braces enter down once close curly braces up enter so now I'm going to say when I click on that submit button what happens now what we want to happen is we want it to display whatever name it is that we typed in to the input text field and saved to our variable so in here we're going to type the code that is actually going to run when we click that submit button now remember what we want to happen is we want to type in into the input text field we want to hit the submit button and we want whatever name it is that we type to appear below so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say your name space equals space name underscore txt dot text dot text and end statement what I'm saying here is is that my variable your name the container is going to equal or store name underscore txt in other words it's going to store whatever it is that you type into that input text box so our variable is going to store the name that you type into that text box once we have that we then want to say name appear underscore txt now this is our dynamic text field dot text space equals space your name end statement so now I'm saying the dynamic text box is going to display whatever data is stored in the container in the variable and that data is whatever it is that we've actually typed into our input text box so when I press control enter we notice that the animation appears I'm going to type in my name I'm going to hit submit and my name appears in the dynamic text bo box so one more time we'll have another quick look at the code bring up my actions I'm saying I'm creating a variable a container that's going to contain a string of data the string of data is simply whatever it is I type in there and I've called it your name I'm then saying an advent event listener on the button so it's listening for a mouse click when the mouse is clicked what happens the container stores the data that is inputted in the text field and once that happens it, it then shows up in the dynamic text field with whatever it is that has been stored in the container so if I type Michael into the input text box and hit submit then that is what will show up in my dynamic text field so a very simple piece of code there it shows all three text fields that you can use and it shows a simple way that you could use in a game or something like that where you could store the user's name so that way it could tell you what score they got later on and still have their name appear